Hey guys, this is Pastor Scott and Diana, and we're still out here at the God's Ten Commandment Park in Columbia Heights, Montana. It's been a crazy morning so far, but let's get this experiment done uh, real quick, and then I'll explain to you what happened this morning. I got a small little bit of hot water that's left, and I'm going to flip this camera around and throw it out and see if it freezes in midair. So see if you guys can see this on the count of three. And we'll see, hopefully get it in the camera. One, two, three. Did you see that? Kind of just went by. <laughs> but it is so cold out here. So cold out here that the water freezes in midair. I just did it. Didn't really go all over that well because I couldn't set up the tripod. Um, it's too dang cold out there. It's negative 12 and with the wind chill factor down to negative 27 or something. So um, keep us in prayer. Had an absolutely crazy morning, at least for me. Don't know uh, about you guys, but uh, went and dropped the wifey off at uh, the hospital. It was pretty gnarly, windy, and some spots of the road that were questionable to say the least but on the way back there was a uh, a lady pulled off of the side of the road i think she crashed or something tried to see if she needed some help or what she wouldn't roll down her window she was just parked there blinkers on so i'm assuming everything was okay with that um and then there was a truck that uh with a snow plow thingy on it kind of coming back the other direction well i had to get home um uh, and so I just decided to go forward as straight and ran right into a, a mountain of snow. It looks like, according to the highway patrolman, he was not very happy uh, with DOT, the P Department of Transportation. Uh, what happened was they had snow plowed the east uh, side and pushed all the snow into the west or the west side into the east, whatever. They did one side uh, snow plow all the that snow was pushed into the other lane and that's what i drove straight into and i was going probably 20 miles an hour maybe 30 not too fast and there was nothing i couldn't go forward couldn't go back um tried turning the wheels even a, a guy trying to get to work came uh hey let me try I said, well we, we've tried all that go, go ahead brother <laughs> and i pushed and he pushed and he jumped in the car and there was no moving it and uh but the highway patrol did show up fairly quick um, and uh, was able to call 911 and they got there and they watched the uh, intersection, which was about a couple, couple, about a block, block and a half back. And then uh, said that the help was on the way. But first they had to take care of that lady who actually crashed and then uh, pulled me out. Uh, literally, freedom was only a few feet away. So I started digging uh, in, in between things and. It was probably around negative 15, negative 17 at that time with the wind chill factor and the negative 38. So I could only stay out for a few minutes with all my gear, face mask and everything out there to try and dig out. God must have been about at least four or five foot of snow. And then the snow plows did me dirty. They uh, plowed the one side and then pushed all the snow up on me, <laughs> which made it worse, behind and in front of me. Um, when I had first ran into the snow, I couldn't even get out on my left side. So thank God um, that I had at least a half tank of gas and I was able to weather the storm. And a gentleman came by and helped me to continue to dig. And by the time the tow truck got there, he was able to pull the, put the wire on, winch me out and uh, back on the road, back to the office, got the kids to school. Well, actually school was canceled, but got uh, baby Lennox, my grandson to, uh, to a daycare safely and i'm at the park so yeah that was my morning hallelujah god bless that, that kid said he was off at 3 30 in the morning he was kind of just cruising around to see if anyone needed help that is awesome so keep us in prayer a uh, couple of crazy kids here doing mission work in montana and uh just want to make sure that we're available for something so if you're in a cold area make sure you keep a snow shovel sleeping bag and some warm clothes because i had all that stuff and i was thankful that i did because i was able to uh, get the car out and if anyone ever needs help i can return the favor of that gentleman and another rule of thumb make sure you have gas in your car like above half tank because if you're stuck out there in the snow like i was for a couple hours and you're running on empty 
and you run out of gas, you're going to freeze to death. I have a sleeping bag in the back of the Equinox, so I would have probably still been okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, I guess could have asked the highway patrolman to call someone to take me to somewhere warmer or whatever. But if that's not the case, you would be in that dangerous situation real quick. So keep us in prayer. Uh, kids are taking off tonight. God willing, they can get out of here uh, to go back and visit the, the other side of the family for the holidays. And we'll be up here by ourselves uh, through the new year. So God bless you. If you need anything at all, give us a call at one eight five five seventy jesus I don't know if that, uh, or log on to our website at oneaccordcrusades.com. Don't know if that you were able to see the, the experiment, hot water thrown out of the coffee cup into the air. <laughs> just, that, that was it. It just turned to ice or frost and flew away. <laughs> That's so awesome. Anyway, God bless you guys. Keep us in prayer. We love you. Take care. Peace. And food and water and cell phone. Yeah, I did have water, but f water doesn't stay well in the car. Mama, it freezes. So there's a bunch of water bottles in the back of the Equinox that are frozen about halfway to a third. But I did have a fresh bottle this morning. And, uh, yeah, cell phone, all that good stuff. So God bless you guys. Got out of that jam. Thank the Lord. And hopefully I can get reimbursed from AAA because they lagged. But they did keep in contact. I'm not going to throw them under the bus. Um, it was the highway patrol's call uh, to, I think it was green towing or something that got out there quick. And then AAA was making sure that they were there. They were calling, double, triple checking. And I got a form that I can send in. If I can even find out who the tow company was. The guy took my credit card, got my phone number, and I never got a receipt. Maybe he didn't charge me. Who knows? So anyway, God bless y'all.